Okay, good afternoon everybody, and what's today's topic? We're going to review the BCAT, and I've compiled a bunch of notes and stuff from people that have taken it, including myself, into some kind of a study guide. Hopefully, it'll make it easier for you to pass the BCAT exam if your facility is requiring you to take it. What I don't like about it is they use it to screen out applicants, which I don't think is right. It's all on the nurses forum. Um, I get lots of emails of people asking me, hey, can you help me? And I haven't been able to put together a video. So what you see in front of you is the first page of the notes. So I want you to stop and look at this for a second. Just hit the pause key. And then I'm going to make some comments. And then we're going to move through all the rest of my notes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on to page two. You have to know these waveforms. So take a close look at them so that you're familiar with them. They will show up. They've showed up on a more than one BCAT exam that's been given at the facility I work at. You have to know Mona. You have to know what EKGs um, look like. And I have an EKG rhythm review, and I'll leave it in the link below. So look in the description. And you need to review those. You need to know the basic EKG strips between the the forms that I show you on here for pulmonary artery wedge and all these different things the ones that stick out the most are going to be the EKG ones and hey if you see this rhythm what do you do or what's this rhythm called so I'm going to leave it there the video that I have on EKG review it goes over it twice on the same video it's like a little quiz and you just work through it and if you do that a bunch of times you're going to easily pick up six or eight questions you're just going to zip right through them you'll know what they are in a flash so let's change the page and let me make some comments on the other um, you know review notes that i have here's just an example you're going to need to know what st elevation looks like so pause the video take a close look at it read the description again i'll leave a link below for a total ekg review for you and here's an example of ST depression. So take a look at it. Make sure that you visually know what these things are and read the description below. These will encompass questions that you're going to be asked on the BCAT. Okay, let's take a look at my notes now going from 12 down to 22. You're going to need to know a lot of these values, so pay close attention as you read through each one of these notes. And if you notice down on 21, I mean, I took another uh, EKG on blocks. Now, you're going to have to know all your heart blocks from first degree, second degree type 1, second degree type 2, third degree heart block. And uh, we'll get to it, but you're also going to have to know the difference in the pacer rhythms too. Again, I hate to keep harping on it, but my EKG review, if you just use that tool on top of this, you're going to sail right through all of the rhythm strip questions. So take a close look at the page. And you're going to have to understand, I mean, like I said, what these different you know, values are, especially on EKGs. What's the normal PR interval? I gave you the answer here. So some of this is memorization, and some of it is being able to look at these rhythm strips and just know what you're looking at. Okay, now we're taking a look at 23 to 27. Now you'll see because I use Word that the top part of this really belongs on the previous slide so just kind of go back look at the previous slide jump forward to this one and you'll see the part about you know the the sentence on heart blocks they kind of are supposed to go together but you have to know what flutter looks like fib looks like vtac vfib failure to sense failure to capture these kinds of things um, the easiest way that i did this for people that have taken the bcat exam where i work like i said i put together an ekg slideshow on basic rhythms it's not long and complicated. It's very easy, but you have to keep going over and over and over it. Okay, there's enough said on this. Let's go ahead and move on and let's move to some of the other questions. Okay, now we're going to go from uh, 27 thereabouts down to 35. And these are all, like I said, I've got them all condensed for you. You're going to have to know the common dosages. Even though, you know, we may not use it a whole lot anymore, you still got to know because the question will pop up on lidocaine. You're going to have to know the joules to set on defibrillation. So just pause this, take your time, read through these. These are about as complete as I could make them. I tried to get as much of the wording exact as I could. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, now we're taking a look at my notes where it goes 36, you know, down to 45. 
These are typical general questions they're going to ask you on there. I mean, again, I tried to be as complete as I could. You're going to have to know or at least just memorize, you know, the normal ABG values. Now, if you know what the norm is, you know what's not normal. And a lot of times they'll ask you which of the following ABGs are normal. And they'll give you ABCD and some of the numbers are way out of whack. These are the normal ranges for pH, pCO2, PO2. If you know those, you're going to get this answer correct. Okay, and you have to know, you know, what is the normal negative suction, you know, for patient canisters at bedside. Well, it's negative 120 and on and on and on. Um, you don't need to, me to read this to you. That's what the pause key is for. You can hit pause. You can explode this. Take your time. Look at it. Save it, go back, and like I said, just keep reviewing it. But let's keep moving on, and we'll talk more as we go. But my notes are about as complete as I could make them for this. Okay, now we're looking from 46 to 57. I, guess I keep saying, I know I keep repeating this, but uh, I get emails where people go, you went too fast through this stuff. Well, that's what your pause key's for. Um, I hate to make it sound that simplistic to you. I didn't want to make this a long video, but in order to study it, yeah, it is going to take you some time. In order to be successful at this, you're going to have to use the pause key and you're going to have to study the material. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we'll just keep moving on. Okay, this is the last page of 100 questions that I managed to accumulate from people, including myself, that have taken the exam. I think that this will help you a great deal. It'll help you in studying because it gets you focused. And remember to couple this with my EKG review exam. I'll leave the link below. I know I repeated that over and over again, but a lot of people have told me it was one of the biggest helps to them when they went to take this test is they were able at a glance to identify exactly what the rhythm was, answer the question, pick up time, and move on. The rest of these um, are just questions that I know that have been on exams. Realize that there is more than one BCAT exam out there, and I don't condone the way that a lot of places are using it, so I hope the review helps you. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you remember anything that was on this exam. I will add it and update the video going forward as I can. Thank you folks very much. You guys have a great day. I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.